diagnosed with renal failure five years ago. His kidneys, unable to remove toxins and excess water from his body. He has been on dialysis for the past two years. Many in the public sector cannot afford this life-saving treatment. For instance, in my one, it's on stage five. They call it end-of-life stage. So with that, it brings the best out of me because I every day I tell it, oh, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna let this thing come or come uh, come on me, come between me and my happiness. Mgoku's wife has been identified as a suitable donor. I'm willing to do so because it's painful to see your husband um, struggling to live, struggling to, to, to breathe and to, to, to get over this, and especially if the children are witnessing this. Mgoku is one of the lucky ones. Globally, patients wait years to find a suitable donor, leading to the illegal trade of vital organs. Like any uh, uh, illegal activity, uh, it's not always recorded, so it's hard to tell. We have reason to believe that the extent of this activity has diminished considerably, numerically, over time. Experts say more education around organ donation is needed. We are going to school children, talking to adults like you and me. Look at me, I'm terribly overweight and I'm a kidney specialist. We don't listen. We don't do what we're told. You teach the kids. They're going to be the ones who are going to uh, know about it. The conference ends on Tuesday. Nomo Tusolwandle, SABC News, Cape Town.